everybody, so in this tutorial we're going to wrap up with this uh, series and uh, we're going to make a fracture mesh. So there are a few issues I've discovered uh, recently that kind of um, render one or two things that we've done a bit moot, which is uh, unfortunate, but it wasn't very much of a loss. So first thing I'll show you is um, fractured meshes don't work with DX11 so go to switch render and change it to DX9 they won't generate unique UVs properly uh, and your mesh will look all messed up basically it just won't have proper UVing that kinda sucks but what can you do so uh, the other thing is basically something I didn't know was uh, how exactly how the fracture mesh worked and that is um, chunks on the inside that don't actually see the outside of the mesh essentially are culled out of existence so because of that I had some really bad issues with trying to get our uh, boolean modified mesh to work properly. It's just it wasn't chunking apart and there were just all kinds of issues with it. So ultimately it came down to actually a far easier option than I thought because of the fact it won't render um, chunks beyond the out, out outermost chunks you can just create a box and it'll work just fine so just create a box kinda like what we did before except without the boolean modifier um, again sorry about that I had no idea that the fracture mesh optimized like that so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the um, what am I doing? I'm bringing in textures. So uh, let's go ahead and bring in the tiles. Or the different tile textures we have. Alright. So now we have our tile textures. Let's go ahead and bring in our model. Uh, 3ds Max exports outside pillar. Open. Um, Actually, I forgot to UV this thing. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and slap and unwrap UV. W on that channel one. Uh, let's go ahead and not normalize. Boom. 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 Now, go ahead and just select everything, uh, pack UVs, don't normalize, and OK. Might be a tad bit of light map bleeding, maybe. And we're gonna save these UVs as outside pillar. Yep. And let's go ahead and put another unwrap UVW on that. So it's channel two. Abandon. Open UV editor. Yep. So then we're gonna load our UVs for outside pillar. Make sure they're correct. Yep. Now we're good to export. Outside pillar. Yep. 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 Now let's go ahead and import the model. OK. 
Okay, that should be good. Alright, now we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and create the materials first. channel for the specular. And then uh, let's give it a specular power. Go ahead and bump it up to 30. 30 is pretty good. Let's also give it a texture coordinate because this isn't going to tile correctly. I found that 3 by 3 is a pretty good number. save that. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this material. Create copy and let's call this fractured underscore MAT. Now let's just change the, um, the texture Want that instead. And all that does is get rid of the grid lines. We're also going to want to turn down the tiling to probably one. All right. All right. So now comes the uh, fun part. We have the inside pillar and the uh, outside. As you can tell, I kind of made a few different attempts at this. Let's go into our static mesh. Let's go and click on this uh, fracture tool. And actually, first what we need to do is to remove the collision, and we need to add auto convex collision. This should work just fine. So apply, close. Let's go ahead and open up the fracture tool. Now I like cranking this all the way up. I don't know about you guys, but smaller chunks just seem more realistic for a pillar like this to me. So I'm going to go ahead and generate. And we have our. Uh, I don't like that. That's better. All right. There's a lot of things you can do with this, like this. Um, let's see if I change this to two. You can see the uh, the effect. It it just changes the uh, how long uh, the slices are, essentially on the different planes. Um. So what we're going to do is we are going to select the top and we're going to select the bottom. And we're going to grow selection. It's quite a bit, but I think it'll work pretty well. We are going to uncheck destroyable. And so uh, these pieces can remain. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to slice Call it fractured. I think go four for me this time. Press OK. It'll generate, and uh, we're good. Now what we want to do is something that I don't think I've ever seen anyone do before, um, and that is add core. That's the important part. Uh, that's right. We need to select our static mesh, and we need to add core. As you can see, it now has our static mesh inside our uh, fractured mesh. And now we are going to accept the core. And we now have a very, very well done uh, destructible mesh with a core inside. We can go and exit out of that, exit out of that. And now we have our fractured mesh 4. I'm just going to right click in the, in the uh, view and add fractured mesh. Now we can scale this up uh, however much we want and it'll be fine. Um, 
There might be some settings we need to change. Let's go ahead and just give this a shot. See what it looks like. Let's see what we can do with the rocket. Not sure why, but UDK has issues with uh, rockets. So we take that apart. In retrospect, I would probably have made this outside pillar quite a bit smaller than it is. Or made the inside pillar quite a bit bigger, so the chunks are a lot smaller, because I mean, these chunks are huge. Anyways, that's a basic concept. Let's go ahead and do uh, a final touch-up. And that is just applying our materials that we made earlier. So, um... Go ahead and come down to uh first of all we wanna not, yeah I think we wanna uncheck those. Let's go ahead and try it out and make sure it still works. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we want. So this is a uh, material that we don't want to change, I don't believe. Maybe. There are three materials. Well, let, let's go ahead and change all of them, see what happens. What I want is... Yeah, that's right, one. Go ahead and change. Oh, I see. So this is the inside pillar, um, the uh, core. This is the outside. This is the uh, where the chunks come out. So now we have our, all our materials applied. Go ahead and save all writable. Go ahead and exit out of the content browser. There's our uh, mesh. Let's go ahead and build the lighting. Um, actually, let's build all. This will just take a, uh, a second. I might pause the video for a moment while this is running. Alright, I'm back. Um, unfortunately, there is one issue that I noticed, and that is um, the light maps are not being made correctly. Um, as you can see here, it looks like there's over it's, I got an error message saying that there are overlapping UVs. Not quite sure how to fix that, but maybe one of you guys can figure it out. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play. Now our mesh is going to apart. So, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, again, this is kind of just a basic tutorial showing you guys kind of an overarching concept, not so much doing a super high quality tutorial on uh, how to make a really good looking core, how to make a really good looking uh, outside. Hopefully you guys can get the, uh, the basic concepts and ideas. Uh, from this, you guys can also add uh, particle effects. Um, uh, that's always a nice touch. And uh, not sure why, but explosions don't tend to do much with uh, fractured meshes unless it's uh, even pretty much any explosions uh, with this rocket launcher don't tend to affect um, meshes like this very well. But. Uh, Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I'll be back with uh, the tutorial series uh, using animations. That one's going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be a lot harder. Um, this one was pretty straightforward, 
and um, just involved a few tweaks from the normal fracture tutorials to uh, get a more realistic and battlefield like result so uh, please like comment subscribe it does help me uh, if you can visit my Facebook page post uh, questions um, for tutorials because that's one of the biggest reasons I haven't done tutorials is because I'm not getting a whole lot of questions for tutorials I'm not uh, I have a hard time finding out what people want if nobody's asking so feel free to head over there ask for a tutorial I, I'll try and get to one as quickly as possible thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one